Hey y'all, Super X here, and today we're going to build an IGO S Cyclone ERA Hornet style RBA. Um, pretty typical between them all what they look like. Um, as you can see, I've got one on the right here that's pretty much built. This is going to be our what we're shooting to to rock today. A little microcoil, some rolled cotton. That's going to be our finished product right there, and it vapes spectacular. This is a really decent little RBA. Really like it. It's all SS. Very easy to work with. Very easy to set up. So when you get your IGO S Cyclone ERA style RBA, this is pretty much what it looks like here. You're going to see that it has um, a couple of holes. This one is a bottom fed model, so it has three holes. You've got a wire hole on top, another wire hole, and this is a juice hole where the juice comes out of. If it's not bottom fed, it won't have that. You just drip this one, the juice will come out of that hole. If you're fortunate enough to be getting one from Rob at Rio's Mods, that hole will probably be lower. I've got a couple like that that have been modded, and I really like it, but it still works fine just like that. So when you put this on your mod, there's an important thing. Also, I want to go over a couple of things. You see those screws? A Cyclone slash ERA slash Hornet slash many other varieties come with little Allen screws. I've replaced them with those um, Phillips head screws. Really works out good. Uh, the Allen screws are tiny. These screws are pretty readily available. I think Rob's even going to have some on his site. I've also taken the bottom. This comes with two O-rings. The bottom one I take out. The top is still nice and snug just with that one O-ring. But it's a whole lot easier to get on and off. With both of them, it's like overkill. Very difficult to get on and off. So that's pretty much it. The Addy looks the same on both sides in this case. But now pay attention to the orientation of the holes. You're going to notice that one is a little higher. above The juice hole is a lower one. That one's a little higher and this one's a little lower. So when you're wrapping your coil, you're going to want your high leg to be going into the high hole. So when you put, what you want to do is put this on your mod so that you're going to build it. You can build your coil on either side. You're going to want to build it on the side when you're vaping. I vape with the mod kind of pointed at me sort of like this. So that means I'm going to be building my coil on this side of the post over here. So with that said, there's your orientation. The high hole is going to be on my left side. So let's get after it. Like I said, a very decent RBA. Here's what the top cap and all that stuff. I mean, it's just a slick little setup works good there's an air hole in it when you put when you put it all together we'll go over the air hole you see how hard that cap already is to get off it's a perfect fit with one o-ring two of them like i said a lot of people are going to have a difficult time getting it off unless it's screwed to the mod so let's put this on this little thing so we can check some um, resistance once we get it done we're probably going to be shooting for a build in the 1.3 to 1.5 ohm range going to be um using a coil so my high hole is on the left. I'm going to use a micro coil. It's probably going to be about 12 or 13 wraps to get to that range with 28 gauge. Now to save time in this video, I've wrapped a little micro coil on a 16 gauge blunt tip short lure lock needle. Notice my high wrap that goes in the high hole is on the left side and then my low wrap comes off the bottom is on the right. Also notice that I left one leg long like I always do. So we're going to put these in the holes. I've already loosened the screws and to save time. Low one goes in the low hole. Probably going to need to loosen that screw a little bit more. I just look through the hole and when I see that I'm looking through it, it's good to go. Both of these need to come up a little bit. Now remember, you've got to leave that juice hole on the bottom unobstructed. That's where your juice is going to come through on the bottom feed. So we're just going to put that long leg in first in that hole and then the short leg goes in this hole. I'm doing this without the benefit of magnification, but I haven't drank any coffee today, so I'm probably steadier than normal. There we go. So I've got it in. Basically how I've done this, I keep my needle on, but I'm going to put it over on this side because that's where I need to push from. So for now, I'm just going to kind of pull it up close to the posts. 
and I'm going to tighten the screws down some and you're going to see you, the screws are going to tighten in a couple of stages. As soon as I see it start to move the coil a little I stop tightening about like that and then I'm going to adjust this so you got a, got a couple of dimensions you're going to need to concern yourself with. You don't want that coil to contact anything metal. So we're going to pull it away from the post out by the rim, but I'm pulling, I'm pulling it tight. I'm using the tension I put on the wire to allow me to pull it tight. So I want it to be out by the rim, but not so close that it's going to contact the cap. So ultimately, you could stand to go closer, but that, that's going to work out just great. That's probably where I would leave it. I look at it from all sides, all dimensions, and make sure that now the o-ring you can go right about to the edge but um how's a good way to put it just be careful the coil cannot contact the cap the base the screws or the posts or any of that good stuff so you want to inspect it and make sure you got all your clearances and you're good this looks to me looks perfect right about there probably could stand to go in just a hair on this side, it's right out by the edge. Um, I think we're good. So at this point, I'm going to tighten the screws again. The coil may move a little bit again, as it did. So smart thing to do is keep your little mold in. Then it won't, like, um, it won't tension the coil and ruin the beauty of it. Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to um, trim these tails some. I just bend them up. I gotta actually speed up, so I think you only get 10 minutes to make these videos, so that's pretty much it right there. Trim those, come back and uh, make sure they're up against the post so they're not contacting anything. They can't contact anything metal either. The elevation of the coil looks good. If you want to raise it or lower it, you would just do it with your mold. Just have it in there and come down a little. That's probably about perfect right there. If you don't like a lot of throat hit, if you want more throat hit, just raise it up a little. So now we're going to put this on the mod. Oh, we didn't even check resistance. 1.39. Perfect. Perfect for me. If you want to be a little higher in resistance, just add a wrap or two. You want it to be lower, lose a wrap or two. This is 28 gauge, and I think that was... um. 12, 12 wraps, 11 or 12 wraps. So now it's back on the mod. What we're going to do is we're going to compress this coil a little bit so we take out any hot legs or anything like that. So there it is. It winds up where we want it. It's going to give it a little fire and let it heat up. You see how the legs start out kind of um, wonky there. So then we just heated it up. We grab it with our pliers. We squeeze it. You want to make sure we fire Take your finger off the fire button once it's hot and squeeze it. You don't want to fire it and squeeze it at the same time. Basically, I'm going to be squeezing this coil until it, it glows. No, that one didn't work too well. Uniformly from the middle out. What I also found is after I've squeezed it a few times, if I take my mold and put it back through the coil, that I don't know what that does. It's some kind of magic. But that kind of almost always puts it right from the middle out, glowing. There you go. All right. So that coil is pretty good to go right now. The next step would be to wick it. So we're going to do that. And like I said, i got to be quick. we got a 10-minute time. I'm down to a minute. But you can see how easy this is to build and vape. So i got a little piece of cotton here. It's small. It's not a big piece of cotton. I've wet my fingers with the bounty. I'm going to twist it. Just twisting it is all we're doing. We're going to trim the very, very tip off. That didn't work out too well. Wet the fingers with the, with the wet paper towel again. You want clean fingers when you're doing this. Or what is on your hands will get on your wick. And um, the taste of it, you might either like it or not. I like to keep clean. That's pretty much it. Just pull it through. See how it's nice and loose there? You don't want it too tight. Trim it up, you're going to have a short side, and you're going to have a slightly longer side. And then I basically would just take and push this side with my tweezers down here where the juice is going to go, 
this side that's down there somewhere, slap your cap on it, and you're pretty well good to go at this point. Ready to vape. Check screw tension again just to make sure we're good, nothing came loose. Okay, take two. So now we, we're still working on this. This When you squonk this, I don't have any um, juice in this area. Whether you squonked it or whatnot, or dripped it, that cotton would um, would tend to want to get, a, it, it gets a little bit more pliable. You could just lay it down so it's not going to come out and um, get caught in your cap. So let's just, then what you're going to do is just slide the cap on. So I'm using this different grand just so you can see that the wick's not going to get caught in the cap. It's already been moistened. Coils right there in the front, air hole on your cap. Um, you want it to be right in front of the coil. So essentially you're just going to look where your coil is, look where your air hole is, throw it down on there. And um, you can pretty much at this point just keep wetting it, get it wet. Once it's fully wet, burn it a couple times and then get to vaping. That's pretty much it. I go S, um, Cyclone, ERA, any of those type of RBAs that look like that with a center post and an offset post, that'll pretty much get you where you need to be. All right, so long. See ya.